Hey guys and welcome to Escape with Sarah and Ben and today we're at Cavendish and uh, the Grampians are like just over here. We're going to go do this massive circle today and uh, drive up the valley because it's a valley like in between these two mountains and we should be able to get up on the peak on the highest point and uh, it's 1167 metres up there and they reckon it's snowing from a thousand metres up so uh, should be cool. We Welcome to Dunkeld at the mobile servo. I'm just like in shock at the servo here because check this out. Two dollars seven for diesel. Like the cheapest we've paid before this was probably like two dollars twenty six. And then we get here and it's just like twenty cents cheaper, like at least twenty cents cheaper. Mm. So uh, I'm just blown away. Oh damn. The lady just come out and she's like, oh, oh, I didn't charge you for the diesel. I only charged you for the drinks. So that was almost the cheapest diesel you'd ever get. Wow, so Dunkled's such a cool little town with these mad views of this mountain, eh? Like this one is all twisty and it's so cool. And then uh, this one over here as well. And like, it's kind of like Bingenden or Mount Walsh or something, eh? It's like the little town with the mad mountain view, like no matter where you are. We got like 50 k's drive through these mountains and then we're gonna get right up to the top of Mount William, which is the tallest peak in the Grampians. And if it's gonna snow, that's where it's gonna snow. So this is uh, Mount William Summit Road, 12 kilometers, and we'll be on the top and we'll find out if there's any snow. Uh, I'm not real sure yet. The air does feel icy and frosty. It's uh, really cool, but we just don't know. We'll find out very soon though. Oh yeah, let's get up there. Wow, so I think we're about halfway up now. The view out here is awesome when you get a few through the trees. And the mountain we're going to, we can kind of see over here now. I think it's just got engulfed by a cloud, actually. Come on, where's the snow? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, yeah. Wow. We'll wow, wow, get, wow. Yeah, we'll have to get like a wow counter going for our videos. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're up to about 600. <laughs> All right, and this is our first good look at Mount William up there with the tower on the top. I can't see any snow up there. It's not like covered in snow anyway, but like uh, if I can find a handful of snow, I'll be happy. That's summer snow to me. <laughs> All right, so we drove as far as you can go. Uh, there's about a two kilometer walk from here. Got all our snow stuff on just in case. And uh, yeah, we'll find out. Wow, how's the view from here? Oh man, that's mad. And this thing down here, we're looking down at it now. We like we drove around in front of that just before. It's that's like mad. Spotlit, hey, it's so cool. Yeah. Hey, there's a water spout. It's so mad. Wow. Wow. How sick is the view from here, right? Eh? There's still like oh, probably another kilometre or more to go and uh, then we'll be at the top but like every little view you get is just epic man, like so, so mad. We're up with these picks almost, eh? so. And then down the cliff she goes. Alright, so we made it. Look, there's the tower. I don't know, yeah. it sounds windy as like blowing on the tower, but it's not that windy here. And uh, there's no snow, but if it, we get like a cold snap, we may get like some snow fall in between this rain. And uh, this camera's all fogged up, so we'll turn around and look at the rest of the view. Whoa! Look down there, eh? You can't see much because we're in the cloud now, but like, wow. It's so far down there. So this is the very summit. 
that rock there is the highest rock on the mountain other than like the, the pulpit thing they built here that says Major Mitchell climbed this mountain July 1836 and named it Mount William. Man, Major Mitchell hogged up everything, hey, like everything he named and discovered and like everything, like he's everywhere. Oh man, so I'm standing up on that pulpit thing now. This is as high as you can get in Western Victoria and uh, let's hope I don't get blown off. Yeah, well, wow. so it's three degrees up here, and uh, the the weather thing says 47, de uh, 47 kilometer an hour winds, and uh, it still won't snow. I think it's just like because of the rain. You need snow clouds, not rain clouds. I think there's some difference. We will see you on the way down the mountain now. But I'm just standing here on the ground But my head's always up in the clouds Wow, look at the cloud come up out of the valley there <laughs> Oh man, this is so sick What a spot No way, no way Look, he's wearing shorts Are you kidding? Like Alright, so we're just about back of the car. I can see everyone else's cars now. And uh, yeah, that was a mad walk. And the drive down the hill is going to be epic. Be like second gear all the way, burning up the brakes. No, I'll try not to burn up the brakes in the clutch. Going to have to take it easy because this is a slippery old steep road. Yeah, like look at the moss on the road here even, eh? Like, see on the sides? Like, if you get up a bit much speed down these hills, you ain't gonna stop. So now we start our descent. We just cruise down in third gear and like tap the brakes on the steep bits. And uh, we'll probably be in second gear when we get to the really steep bits. So, but uh, I wanna yeah. drive already. <laughs> yeah, and we, we're getting under the clouds a bit now so you can start to see again. Wow. So we're about, I don't know, halfway down maybe. And there's this mad lookout here. And uh, the view from here is just awesome. And uh, yeah, oh, they've got like their great walk through the Grampians here as well. And this is part of the track, like the track here looks epic, man. This would be an awesome walk to do. Wow. Wow, yeah, indeed. Mad spot, eh? All right, so we made it all the way down. And uh, yeah, it was a really cool drive. Like, you could do that in any car. It's so good. Get up there and uh, have a look. We've just stopped at the bottom because there's this mad little alpine creek here. And uh, yeah, how cool is this? A bit sad though, I think, that it's called Bovine Creek because it means they must have been trying to farm cattle here, hey? Yeah, oh right. yeah, for sure. <laughs> they tried to farm cattle everywhere. And uh, you can tell the ground here wasn't good enough for farming because there's no farms here anymore. <laughs> Otherwise, this would all be cow farm. <laughs> all right, so we're following this little creek now. The sign at the start of it said there's a waterfall 800 meters up here. So not very far to go. And we're gonna get to see this awesome waterfall. Oh man, how sick is this? And the sun just come out as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, check it out. How mad is this? Oh, and the sun. Oh, man, the sun is so nice. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. And we didn't bring any swimmers. <laughs> Bought all my snow stuff, though. Oh man, that was so good. Uh, too bad it wasn't hot, because that would have been so nice standing under that yeah. on a hot day. Oh, that guy behind us there, he's the ranger. He's the one checking all the trees, see if they're gonna fall down on anyone and stuff. 
All right, so this is Lake Belfield and it's like the big water reservoir here. Oh man, the view as you get out here is pretty cool. Wow, it should be really cool from down near the spillway looking down the valley, eh? Mad spot. Aha! So here's the spillway here. And uh, she's only really little compared to what I was expecting. And then I must go down around here somewhere and back down the creek over here. So that's the spillway down in there. It runs out there, over there, and then it goes down over there and joins back into the creek. It's uh, pretty mad, eh? Oh, it's coming over all Melbourne again. And now uh, I just noticed there that if you look way up the back here, way up there, see that tower up there? That's where we just were earlier. Oh man, more crazy people in shorts, are you kidding? Like, that chick had like short shorts on as well, like, whoa. And they probably live here, I guess, like, you come to Victoria, right, you go stay at someone's house and they're like, oh, do you mind if I put the air con on? I'm just a bit hot. And you're like, what? No? We've been to the information centre and, uh, yeah, it's almost like five o'clock already and we didn't really realise. Because uh, daylight savings and stuff, it screws us over really bad. But the lady gave me this, right? And it's got their five, like, Aboriginal rock art sites that you can go and see. And uh, they're all, like, on the way we're going to go tomorrow. So the day hasn't finished being epic yet. Ooh. Oh, the drive out of here is going to be even more incredible than any of the other drives we've done already, I think. This, yeah. this is going to be better than climbing oh, that wow, mountain like, even. Look at this. Yeah, wow. wow. <laughs> at least the next like 20 k's to the next little town is going to be incredible. So uh, yeah, we'll try and get you a few little clips anyway. Oh wow. <laughs> oh yeah, this bit of road's got a bit dingy. It's straightened out a bit. Mm. It was like real windy back there, but it's like narrow and no overtaking here or nothing. <laughs> All right, so that's us today. We've done like a 200k circle of the Grampians and then come back down this way. You see the mountains up the back there. Uh, tomorrow's going to be just as epic. We're still going through the Grampians and we're going to see rock art and uh, more waterfalls and all types of stuff. But yeah, we'll just have a quick look at the sheep and then we will see you tomorrow. Oh man, the sheep are so cool. And that, like, they look so interested when you drive past. Like, some of them don't care and other ones all stop and watch you. Like, it's like, what's going on over there? Hey? Yeah, they're mad. I wish we could get in and have a ride, eh? It'd be mad fun. There's so many in this paddy. Right, see you in the morning now. Dun, 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 dun.